Orphan Black. I got my Orphan Black shirt from a Comic Con past. I don't remember when. Anyways, season five, episode three of Orphan Black. Its title is Beneath Her Heart. Let's do it. Hey, Allison, it's Beth. Oh, shoot. I'm just happy that Ainsley's back and she's not all dead. Ainsley and I have a little proposition. No, is it a naughty proposition? No, I can't. I, I tried them once and they went right to my bowels. Donnie. Oh, Donnie. You know what? Let's do it. Oh. Yes, Allison, do mushrooms. I want to see that. Abandoned you, did she? Like you abandoned me in the woods? <laughs> I didn't abandon you, Allison. You did, a little bit. Sarah and Helena are fertile, biologically priceless. And then there's you. Oh, that's a burn. That's a mean burn. Because even MK had more value than you. I don't like this fellow. He's mean. My hand is purple and it makes the air all fuzzy. Yes! Oh my gosh, is Kasima gonna show up and they're all gonna be too high to know? Yeah, I'm Kasima. It's really like Welcome to the Trip because she be tripping right now. I do the same thing when people have nose rings. I know, which you may find totally freaky, but I find it. I find it so fascinating. <laughs> oh, God. This is you, and I'm from Berkeley, okay? I don't even know what that means. And, like, Beth is a cop, <laughs> right? Because we should just talk like that all the time. The next thing is that we all get together. We hang out all the time. Okay, and you're just going to, like, stay with us. We're going to talk. We're going to talk, talk, talk. Whoa. Poor MK being all dead. Kira, you wanna give me? Hi. Kira's not happy with you, Sarah. Honey, we are still the entertainment. I am doing my dance, and we are singing our duet. Yes. Oh yes, get high again, Allison. It's the okay. best. Honey, come on. Why do I love my sisters so much when they've ruined my life? Cause it's family, man. Ruined. Yes, yes. Pop pills again. I'm the worst person ever. Allison, please get high in the middle of church. Yes. <laughs> yes. Although that might, that was a lot of pills. You might not want to do that. And it would taste horrible. You must be parched. You're working so hard. No, Allison, don't. You're doing the wrong thing. No. You're going to go to jail. She's going to kill her. She's going to kill her. There's no way she can't taste that that stuff's in there. So you can take solace in that. And also, never take a pre-opened drink from Allison. That I have had this in my car for weeks. And paraffins alone would have killed me. <laughs> Good job, Allison. Last second. Avoid another murder. Helena's children could prove even more vital than Kira. Because Helena's more awesome. Donnie looking good. Dapper, sir. Oh, and there's a kilt down there. A bunch of dead Portuguese gangsters and one seriously bloody paper cutter. Oh god, it's all coming back. I haven't seen you since... The funeral, yeah. Allison, you're an awful person. You know it's hard for him because he's unshaven. I do feel like this is somehow our fault. Yeah, all the time. If anyone had been home, they could have saved her. You don't know that. And... And even if someone was home, who's to say they would have saved her? I wound up microwaving many pizzas and chauffeuring kids to the circus. You say that like it's a bad thing. Why this life? Because we're happy. Says who? It's like our entire life is a lie. About that. Oh, sweetie, come outside. Come feel the grass. It's so beautiful. I knew these people in college one time did acid at an after party and pet this wet tree because the sprinkler was hitting it for like four hours. Keep them out of the garage. Oh God, Donnie. This is the best medical test ever. You just get a manicure. I like a sleeveless lab coat. I think it's rather painless. You think? I am such a colossal failure at everything. Can't even do drugs right. Don't bang Ramon, please. Did you, you have that look? Okay, just get drunk with him. That'd be fine. Bro, oh, cut to drinking with him. You know that there's windows all inside that truck and everyone can see you, right? If she really thinks she can go get high in the middle of the, of the church and not stank like it, she's a fool. We've established she's not the smartest, though. 
<laughs> you don't you don't get out of bounce houses. You just stay in bounce houses. What a buzzkill, Donnie. I didn't shoot him in the face, did I? No. You only let Ainsley Norris strangle to death. You guys are awful people. It kinda looks like a grave, don't it? It looks like fresh concrete. Shut up. Oh shoot. Art just kill her already. Don't forget about him. Oh, God. I mean, eventually he was going to catch up with them that they kept killing people. Oh, my gosh, Donnie, don't drink that. But, yes, drink that. I'm sorry. Have you ever had a pill slightly dissolve in your mouth and it tastes awful? Seems like you'd notice a, a bottle of them in a drink. Stop. Let me love you. Kira, don't go cutting on that mouse or yourself, please. My mom made a joke way back that, that Kira is like one of those lizards that can grow parts back. If that happens, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, I used to do a lot of things, huh? Like having an affair with you, remember? I, did, I used to do that too. Are you gonna tell him you killed Ainsley? I told you about Ainsley's death. Don't do it. It was my fault. She loved you so much. You're making it harder to admit a murder. Yes. I need to see this performance. Oh, he's gonna end up flashing people because he's high. Please, tell me that's what happens. He's in a trip. He's gonna show things to people. Do the same thing Allison did and fall off the stage. Oh no, but you fell backwards and your stuff showed. Yeah, I saw that coming. Donnie, stop dancing. Did you just kill Donnie? Looks like they're both Alkies. I'm sorry. Oh, Allison's gonna go wild. I'm well, I'm not just a boozer. I'm a pill popper too. And I kill people. Oh, don't be tripping and seeing Ainsley. Don't be, don't be admitting anything either. Don't do it. I am part of a sisterhood that you couldn't even begin to understand. And thank God you never will. Thank you, thank you, Felix. But Donnie's still sticking out of the curtain. Pull him in. They always oh, heads rattling. You should kill her and then put her in the hole she's already standing in. Oh, oh don't, don't show people puking. What are you gonna do? I make myself useful for once. Yay, she has a purpose! Oh, squishy. He would have smelled that first. Why are you digging with your bare hands, girl? It's nasty. Well, I suppose my entire life is filed away here somewhere. It is. Not that I've paid much attention to it. Why everyone coming down on Allison? I know. <coughs> yeah, you'd smell that long before you open the bag. Allison, why do you have the head? I thought Kasima had the head. Dr. Leakey pushed on you over the edge and, and, and he didn't have basic firearm safety. Oh, Which you always need. I think Rachel might respect this in a weird way. I like this side of Allison. Get them out of my house! And have him fix the garage up. We already had to cover that over a couple times. Art's gonna kill her. There's a body here, but, um... Shoot her in the head. Okay, I'll stand down. Art's like, what? Nothing, nothing, don't turn around. What? What was that? I should like to put my hands around your neck and squeeze. Then we're not so different, you and I. Are they gonna kiss? They're too close. I need to go away for a while. Where are you going, hun? No, I don't know what my destination is. I just need... Money? Really? What, what's happening? The duet? Do it. Ain't no river. They're like, why not just end it on a duet? Why is there a nun? Why am I seeing a nun? Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes more sense. She's writing things. I liked that we get to see Allison more. She She's underrated how awesome she is. And people tend to forget she's like a murderer. This episode shows Allison and Donnie before, you know, all the craziness started happening. Ainsley was still there, you know, not dead. We get to see when Allison first meets Cosima and she's tripping balls on mushrooms, which is hilarious. They do a quick memorial for MK and then just brush past that. That Mr. Frontenac dude is talking to Allison in current times. People keep just coming down on her about how useless she is. And now, like, she's not really valuable because she can't have no babies and she ain't no scientist. So she's like, all right, I'm going to go to the church fall fair thing and I'm just going to stir some stuff up because I'm not in charge anymore. She also finds some of her old pills in a cabinet so you know things are going to get awesome. The old lady who's running things instead of Allison, she's there. And Allison, like, almost just poisons the chick with a, with a drinking little juice thing full of pills. But then she's like, all right, no, I won't do it. Rachel's still wanting to find Helena, and she's like, okay, we need to, like, put pressure on Donnie and them, so let's just send the cops to their house to have them look into Pouchy's death and just, you know, we can plant evidence, whatever, you know. 
In flashbacks, Allison's having some, like, crisis because she's like, why am I a housewife in a very boring town? What if there's more for me? But she's it's mostly the mushrooms talking. We see that Kira is going to Rachel still, and she's not really telling Sarah or anyone, really, what Rachel's doing when they steady her. Rachel shows her this little mouse and how that the mouse can, can regrow parts of its hair and skin and... And, and I'm like, you know what's going to happen? Kira's going to try cutting on herself, and I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. Allison's at the church, and she does some drugs and gets a little drunk with her ex-drug dealer, that teenage boy, Ramon. Is he a teenager still? He doesn't feel like a teenager. Donnie's freaking out because the cops are digging through their house and probably going to find the bodies buried in the garage. Oh, and during all of this, Sarah and Felix are just hanging out at his loft because Mrs. S is like, guys, just stay put. And they're not gonna... Then there was totally, like, a quick scene of Kira being upset because, you know, her mom's not home yet. And then she, like, pulls out a knife while looking at that little mouse. And I'm like, she's gonna test on that mouse and herself. Someone's getting cut. Allison's feeling all bad about, you know, murdering Ainsley because Ainsley's husband's there. And then she almost admits that she did kill her. But then he's like, no, we just need to move on. So she's like, oh, okay. Oh, but Donnie's also called Sarah and Felix to be like, you need to get down here because Allison's freaking a little bit. And we need some damage control going on. Then Donnie goes to do his little dance, sees the juice thing, drinks a whole thing full of pills, and then starts dancing with the kilt on. He, you know, eventually trips out and passes out, and then junk shows to everyone. Everyone's sitting there watching, you know, Donnie be passed out on stage, and Allison runs out, and they're all judging them a little too much. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, you can kind of judge him for a lot. I mean, they've done a lot of illegal things on top of being drunk at church a lot, and high at church a lot, and killing people. And dealing drugs, but apparently she's dealt with the most people in church, so they ain't got room to talk. While Allison's, like, lecturing all of them, she kind of is like, you know what, I'm part of a sisterhood, okay? So she kind of owns some stuff and is also like, F you to all of them. But then we see that Sarah went over to Allison's house, and she, like, kind of motions to Art, and she's like, yeah, hey, okay, the person buried out there is leaky, so, uh, it's not really bad for you, but, uh, it's not great for anyone, especially leaky. Donnie's all sick and puking, and he's like, oh my gosh, Leaky, they're gonna find him. Look, I'll just, I'll just admit I know where Helena is and tell him. And they're, they're all like, no, you can't do that. And then Allison's like, you know what, I'm gonna step up. I'm gonna go own this, and I'm gonna take charge of this whole situation. Then we see that Art is still at the house with that evil partner of his, and they're still digging in the garage. At the same time, we see that Allison is going to meet with Rachel, and Rachel... Is like, okay, what's Allison here? And then Allison opens the bag and she's like, oh, look, I got Leaky's head. Which Where'd she get that? I thought I thought Kasima had that last. Rachel's like, yeah, you're in so much trouble. And Allison's like, what are you going to do? Press murder charges and have this all come down and the illusion get totally exposed? And Rachel's like, hmm, darn it. She's got a point. But at the same time, we see that Art is standing over his partner from behind about ready to pop a cap in her head. Allison is, like, totally in control now, and she gives Rachel the phone and is like, you call them off, get them out of my house. And when she's on the phone, Art almost pops the cap into his partner, but then she calls him off at the last minute. Rachel and Allison face off a little bit, but I swear Rachel's got some mad respect for her. She's like, all right, you're, you're more than I thought. Okay, good good job. You got me. A housewife, one up in Rachel. She's like, okay, okay, well played. Then we see the next morning, Donnie and Allison are sitting down having a little coffee. Donnie's like, good job, hon, you took care of that situation. And she's like, you know what? I need a break to go find myself. She says she's not, like, leaving him, but she needs a break to just go try and figure out who she is and go see her kids and stuff like that. And then they sing a little duet about that ain't no mountain high enough stuff. And then it cuts to what looks like some little convent. At least there's a nun there. And unless Helena got a roommate who's also a nun, Helena's in a convent. And she's writing in a notebook, but it's not in English, so I need someone to translate that for me. And then credits. The internet's amazing. I did one search. Here's the translation. What she wrote says, but they are their own people. I have no control over that. What form they take, their health, the shape of their noses, they appear. Then they will be children by chance. They will heal me slash her, my little miracles. They must choose that horror. And I've been looking for so long. How far we have come, how much road there still is, and that's all. And that's where it cuts off. I love the internet. Again, I'm going to say, this show just keeps taking weird directions, weird things happen. I'm not sure what's going on, but it just like, how are they going to answer every question by the end of the series? Are they not going to do it? Are they going to kind of do like more graphic novels? I don't know. 
I gotta go to bed, though. If I forgot anything or left anything out, if you guys want to talk about anything, drop a comment. Don't forget to do the things. Rate, comment, subscribe. I will catch you guys later. Until next time.